Hi everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. This is Farha Alam and in this session we are going to take a look on how do we create an RTF template in order to inform all the employees of an organization about the changing policies of an organization in the coming year. So we are going to create uh, such kind of template in this session and we are going to learn how do we create this one. So let's go to the instance and see how do we create this one so firstly i would like to show the requirement so here basically uh, i have an requirement i have a requirement with me which is this one so we are going to create uh, an rtf template which is going to inform all the employees of an organization uh, about the changing policies of an organization in the coming year. So this, uh, in order to create any RTF template, firstly, we have to prepare our SQL query and then we have to create our data model and then we will export our data. So this is basically our instance home page. I just have to reach out to my BI server and under tools, we have reports and analytic option. Just click on browse catalog. So that will land to our BI server. And here I had created my own folder, which is this one. And these are my previously created data models. So I'm going to create new one. Let me quickly create one data model. DS and then choose select the data source appropriate data source and then we have to I'm just going to copy this query which I have already prepared. Just paste it over here. Click on OK. Here our query has been successfully executed. Click on view data and then click on view. So here we can see our query has been executed successfully and we are able to see the data for five rows right now. If we want to see more number of rows, we can select it over here and we can click on view option. So here we can see number of rows over here now the next step is just to save this data model so here here you can see uh, our data model has been saved with, with this name organization policies dm 26 october 2022 now the next step is to export this data click on this export option and here we can see our uh, uh, data has been exported over here and just and then next step is just open one new blank word document this is my word document and here i have already installed one additional plug uh, plugin which is this one bi publisher plugin uh, i will leave a link in order to download this uh, plugin or tool so that you can generate your template so now the next step is to uh, insert the data which uh, we have just uh, load downloaded right so we just have to go to this bi publisher tab and here we have an option available called sample xml so i'm just going to click on it and uh, just i just have to go to my downloads folder and here this is the one which i have just downloaded it on uh, open so here we get one confirmation message that our data loaded successfully click on ok now click on the stable wizard option next and then here is basically our data set which we have in our data model 
click on next and these are the attributes which we have so just drag all the attributes and just i'm just going to shuffle some attributes so i'm just moving up the person full name so the order will be person number full name assignment number its name and assignment status type click on next and here group by i'm just going to select as full name and under break option i'm going to select page break so each information will going to display on separate pages click on finish so here we can see our data has been loaded now the next step is to insert the organization logo its name and its website information and the header for this particular template so i'm just going to uh, insert all these things so here here you can see i have inserted all the required things like uh, the logo of an organization and the name its name and its website information and the uh, appropriate header for this particular template which is this one change in organization policies report now the next step is to save it just save it uh, suppose on desktop i am going to save it name i am going to provide click on save so here our template has been saved one more thing i want to do like for this one i just want to rename all the headers name so here i have uh, renamed all the headers and one more thing i want to include over here like some greetings so here 
I have added some information and then I just have to save it after saving it we just have to go to this VI publisher tab and click on this RTF option okay click on see So here we can see our template has been generated which contains the header heading for this particular template some greeting and then the information which we want to uh, share with all the employees of an organization we can see the uh, logo and all the header information is repeating on all the pages right so this is how we can create uh, our rtf template uh, which looks like an invitation uh, or an in invitation which looks like an invitation in order to send it to some people so this is basically all about uh, uh, this template creation and all about to uh, our today's session Thank you everyone. If you have any question regarding this, please reach out to us at www.bispsolutions.com or www.bisptrainings.com. Thank you everyone.